it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing really good today. So, I have my awesome Christmas tree up here. <laughs> so, I have been releasing a whole bunch of videos um, about our pregnancy journey. Um, and I have been writing in the, um, the info box down below kind of what happened with the pregnancy and everything. And um, I did record a video. Um, right after everything went on um, but I have no idea where that video went and so I wanted to re-record it today and give you guys a little update so um, about a month ago today um, we sadly miscarried which is it just has been really really hard it's been just devastating um, we made it to seven weeks um, and we named our baby Spud <laughs> um, but we made it to seven weeks and um, we found out a lot about ourselves we're happy that we were able to get pregnant and very thankful um, it's been just an emotional roller coaster at times we're very thankful for being pregnant and very thankful for the experience and really hopeful that it'll happen again soon um, and then other times we are just absolutely devastated and it's a hard feeling to describe you just feel so sad and so empty and I even described in my video when I first recorded this um, just it feels like something has been torn away from you and a part of you is missing um, and that sounds <laughs> dramatic but it's really true and yeah so it, it is a very hard thing to go through I might seem a little like stoic or not <laughs> I don't know um, appropriate I guess but it's been like a full month now since it's happened so I've had a lot of time to process everything um, but yeah so we are very thankful of course to get pregnant in the first place and I, we found out that I have um, a negative blood so it's RH negative and that just means that we will have to get shots right away and have my pregnancies monitored very closely. A lot of things we're thankful for. I'm so happy and thankful that we were pregnant in the first place and we got to share it with our families, which I was, I just, the whole time, I just had a really bad feeling that I didn't want to share it. I didn't, I was really worried because I was spotting the entire time I was pregnant, minus like five days or so, and I was very nervous about that because that's usually never a good sign. And the doctor thought because, um, he said that's a sign of having negative blood because whenever your blood mixes with the baby's blood, your body sees it as um, a foreign body and it's like, what is this doing here? This is not supposed to be in here and causes antibodies to attack the baby. Um, but in your first pregnancy, this isn't it doesn't happen enough to worry about even throughout your whole pregnancy but we caught mine early and um, this is my first pregnancy that I know of we did have two chemical pregnancies earlier this year so I don't know if those count as as like they do count as pregnancies I guess but I don't know if they count enough like for my antibodies to have built up um, so I don't know maybe they were more built up than I thought I don't know um, but I still had no idea that I had negative blood until I went to the hospital um, my doctor literally didn't help me with anything which is really frustrating and we had to miss our specialist appointment which really sucks so now I have to wait another like we have to wait until March, so we have to wait a really long time to see her again. And we've already waited six months, so <laughs> it really sucks. Um, we miscarried the night before, like we started miscarrying the night before our appointment. And we had already cancelled it a few days before that, so we were like, <laughs> oh well. That's okay, but <laughs> it just kind of sucks we have to wait. But um, throughout my pregnancy, um, I had a lot of spotting just on and off and it was quite light um, through the whole thing. The reason why I started to really worry and when I started spotting I went to the hospital right away the first time. Um, well actually no, first I went to the clinic 
and then I went to my doctors and then I started getting my blood tested my beta done um, and those were all good and um, my beta was rising and that was everything was good it still was on the low side whenever it rose it was still like on the low end it wasn't like doubling like crazy and skyrocketing it was slowly building so that was a little bit of a worry my doctor wasn't very worried and then um, yeah so I don't know my doctor just it's not his fault or anything but he just was really neglectful through the whole thing and we had to beg him for any answers and he still wouldn't provide us with anything that really helped which is really disappointing um, but so I would just go because it's something very important I wasn't going to just let it slide so we would just go to the hospital if like the bleeding got heavier or anything like that and I ended up just all of a sudden I had about I had really strong symptoms getting more and more and more and then all of a sudden for about two days I had I just felt way better and I was like I'm happy that I feel healthier and better but this is really worrisome um, and then um, yeah and then that day um, I I went to work on Saturday and then um, I was experiencing more spotting and then by like midday that day it turned red and that was really scary um, really really scary and then um, I was like okay I'm gonna watch this and I was really freaked out the whole time and then I came home um, I wasn't having any cramping no cramping through the entire process really until probably like last week or so that I had a little tiny bit of mild cramping but um, yeah <laughs> And, um, so on Sunday, on Sunday I went into work and then halfway through my work day I went to the washroom and then it was just like TMI, it was a lot of blood, like a lot and, um, it was basically filling a pad like almost instantly, uh, well not instantly I shouldn't say that but it was filling a pad, definitely, within a half a day, it was filling like a heavy duty pad, and um, and there was also clots, and yeah, and I was really scared of the clots, because I was like, oh god, like if I am miscarrying, I don't want to see it, I don't want to see all this stuff, like this is horrible, um, but it was fine, and so I, yeah, I went to, I went home, um, I had to tell everybody what was happening and then they're like yeah go to the hospital don't worry and so I went to the hospital and then um, we actually had a student doctor and she was really sweet and really good and I was happy we got her um, but she actually specialized in fertility which is really nice because she actually knew what we were going through and talking about and she actually like interned at um, different fertility clinics so I was like yes yeah, someone who knows what they're talking about nobody seems to know anything about like pregnancy it's ridiculous and um, yeah so she said that my numbers um, we, well, first of all, oh no, I don't think we had an ultrasound that day. <laughs> I think we missed that. Um, I forgot to say that we did have an ultrasound the first time I went to the hospital when I was five weeks. Um, and she saw a gestational sac and she saw a thickened lining and said everything looks good. Um, it's too early to see the baby like it might still be a little bit early and that kind of stuff so she's like don't worry about it right now and um we'll check back in with you later and see and we're like okay um because it was still early and i could have been like four and a half weeks or four weeks or something um we were just kind of guessing at dates at that time um and then so so yeah so anyways and i was getting my blood drawn every couple of days um, and getting my blood tested and then uh, she said that uh, basically my better results um, were lowering now and it was about half as high as it used to be so we spent um, probably six hours in the hospital it takes a really long time to um, go through like the waiting room and everything in Canada um, 
but yeah, we had, um, Jason really wanted to call his mom to come with us and she was really sweet and like sat with us through the whole thing and it was a little hard because she was like not believing that anything was happening or not wanting to believe it and she was talking about all these great baby things that we can do. It was really sweet of her to come and sit with us um, and yeah, so we were... We got our, our results back and she said that the better results were lower now and she said with the bleeding and everything it is most likely miscarriage. There's a very small chance, like very very small chance that it's um, it'll resolve itself and everything but she said it sounds like it is and it looks like it's naturally happening that we don't have to get a DNC which is really good. I was really afraid of it being ectopic or um, having to get a DNC because I really didn't want to have any kind of surgery. That's just scary. Um, but we're really lucky that everything happened naturally. Um, we were really upset, of course, and we were really like devastated because it took us over nine months, almost 10 months to get pregnant. I think the most upsetting part of it is that it seemed like everybody else in the world can get pregnant the second they want to and we were struggling so hard just to get pregnant and this is our miracle that we only tried one time um, and didn't have to do any of the other things that we've been trying um, and then it was just kind of like dangling this wonderful thing in front of us and taking it away so that was really 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 hard and some days like like I said it's been an emotional roller coaster because some days I'm totally fine and happy like I'm doing really good today and some days I'm just devastated and like I'm a very very positive person and I try to be as happy as possible and I do look at all the good things and the blessings in life and everything and um, it's just like I don't know you never ever want to have a miscarriage in your life and we're just hoping and praying that we'll be able to get pregnant soon really fast and and that everything will go perfectly this time and we won't have to worry um, now that we know that I have RH negative blood that's really helpful because we have to get a shot as soon as it's called the Reese's shot um, and it's just so your blood doesn't produce any antibodies so it doesn't hurt the baby um, because this will be our second pregnancy when we get pregnant again um, so we have to go and get the shot like the second we find out we're pregnant just to keep the baby as safe as possible and I'm probably gonna have to be monitored monitored really closely um, which is it's stressful but at least we know so that is a very good thing because it would not be good if we didn't know that um, but yeah so I don't know <laughs> um, We've told everyone in our family, and my family has been very supportive, same with um, Jason's family. Um, like, some some people haven't been that supportive, but I think they just don't know how to deal with this, or they just, I don't know, they're just weird. Um, but yeah, most people have been very supportive, and we're doing good, we're trying again now. We're finally allowed to try again, because I just stopped, like, bleeding a few days ago <laughs> which is pretty crazy but um, I'm so thankful for that because I'm not like super exhausted and iron deprived anymore so that's good um, and yeah so we're going to we are really positive and we're hoping we can get pregnant again really soon and hopefully you guys can follow us on our journey to our second baby that would be awesome and yeah so we're doing okay it was a really sad upsetting event and everything but um we're still here we're still healthy and we're still able to try to have more kids so we're looking on the bright side of things <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys i really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next one Just squished him, Luna. <laughs> <laughs>